Well, it's back. 05 Ram 2500. Gonna need a uh, power steering pump replaced. Wonderful thing. Alright, first thing you had to take off was the serpentine belt. I'm gonna try and do this without taking the fan off. Take the pulley off first to enable to get to the uh, bolts. Be able to get to the bolts. There's no. I can probably do it without it pulling the pulley. I think I'll do it without pulling the pulley. I'll pull the pulley out and I get it out. Right, I'm going to use this cheap Harbor Freight brake leader. You can get it for like $24. And I'm going to evacuate all the fluid from the uh, reservoir. I'm past in. This one's always on, so that's always going to work that way. Removing the hose from the cooler has one snap style clamp. You gotta be tender because this is nothing but aluminum. And it's cold out here today. And the rubber ah, is cold. Alright, having a box full of these little plugs. You get them from everything. Every time I replace something, they come with plugs. I put them in the box. Now, right now, I'm going to replace this. I'm going to put these plugs on so I can cap off everything, keep dirt from coming in and out of the system. That's a good thing. Reuse, recycle. Okay, removing the pump bolts. They're all 13. Stop. You can remove the bolts through the holes in the pulley. And it's easy. Removing the final one on top. Tough this guy on the top. But then that's it. Now you can start taking it all out of the truck. Swapping over the hose to the new reservoir. That ran right the hit point. Using the Lyle pulley puller for the power steering pulley, make sure that everything is nicely oiled up. Well, but it's moving. Adapter screwed into the shaft of the um, steering pump shaft. You can put back the old pulley.
with the uh, tool set up this way. Bearing on the bottom, wash on the bottom, so it'll spin. We'll press the uh, tool grip. Back side, check the progress. Fully installed on pump, ready to be putting the pump in. New pump installed, brand new fluid added. Now it's going to be time to bleed uh, the pump, start it up. I'll probably take it up off the ground to bleed it. And turn the steering wheel not all the way to lock to lock, just all the way to almost lock in between. Engine started. Gonna need a little bleed through. Gonna check the level after I uh, run it for a little bit. It's gonna be a little noisy the first time. Get all the air out. After checking for leaks, now it's time to get the air out of the uh, power steering system. I'll start it and go from almost lock to lock, but not quite all the way lock to lock. And that's it. Double check for leaks, and she's good to go. Let's see how long this pump lasts. 